You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible Neutering the Bible Citifying Scripture Isaiah 53 verse 7 I've been thinking about sheep quite a bit recently between feeding Mary the orphan lamb and disposing of a uh, poor little lamb that died sheep have been on my mind and then it struck me that familiar verse from Isaiah chapter 53 has been neutered by most modern Bible translations now we're used to scripture being masculinized for us the writers started it they fail to mention the women very often or they mention them just in passing and yet think about it think of the story of Jesus in the Gospels when we think of the disciples thanks to Matthew Mark Luke and John we think of men but we know from those same Gospels that there were also women who followed Jesus women who were disciples what's more we find Jesus teaching Mary something that was shocking in his world yep the Bible writers often write women out of the story and the translators carry that process on and even when they're in the story write them out very often way way back I was shocked by a woman who was telling the story of a conference she went to where that passage from Paul which includes the words in the old translation if any man be in Christ he is a new creation and they changed the gender and read it as if any woman be in Christ she is a new creation the effect was quite different of course the Greek probably doesn't mean if any man be in Christ he is a new creation means if anyone is in Christ they are a new creation and then as readers we often fail to imagine the presence or the point of view of the women involved in the stories we're reading all too often in reading the Bible the women don't count Isaiah 53 verse 7 NIV he was oppressed and afflicted yet he did not open his mouth he was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before its shearers is silent so he did not open his mouth all thoroughly masculine new living is similar he was oppressed and treated harshly yet he never said a word he was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep is silent before its shearers he did not open his mouth even the NRSV which tends to be more literal he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter like a sheep before its shearers is silent so he did not open his mouth and yet that isn't what's there in the Hebrew in the Hebrew it's quite clear as a lamb to the slaughter he is brought as a ewe before her shearers is dumb he opens not his mouth the ewe Rachel is quite clearly a ewe and not a male sheep and just to make the sure the point is driven home the verb is feminine and way back when the King James translators recognized this he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter as a sheep before her shearers is dumb so he openeth not his mouth by the time of the revised version at the end of the 1800s the sheep was it or he almost always now thinking about how sheep flocks work lambs are slaughtered especially ram lambs it's quite appropriate the lamb is masculine but you only keep one ram per flock of 20 to 50 ewes so the shearing is shearing of ewes not rams those sheep who are sheared are female sheep by vast majority the book of Isaiah knows that and the King James Bible translators knew it but today the Bible has been citified and masculinized oh there are some modern translations that have her here out of uh, just under 30 that I looked at the ones I found that recognize that the U is a U are the Bible in basic English the Holman Christian Standard well done Southern Baptists the Jubilee Bible the Orthodox Jewish Bible the third millennium translation and Webster the rest all masculinized including the ESV 
the Bible which seeks to retain possibly gendered readings where it can. It doesn't do it here. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he openeth not his mouth. Low marks, ESV. Here you have introduced a wrongly neutral reading. Yep. Quite regularly we neuter the Bible, and here we've citified Scripture by not recognizing how sheep flocks work. See you next time. God bless.